These instructions are for creating the virtual machine named 410 Server 2 in VMware Player or Workstation for use in the hands-on activities in MCSA Guide to Installing and Configuring Windows Server 2012 from Cengage Learning. We will use VMware Player for this demonstration, but VMware Workstation has a similar process. This video shows only the creation and configuration of the virtual machine. Activities in Chapter 2 walk students through the process of installing Windows Server 2012 R2 on the 410 Server 2 server. We start by opening VMware Player and clicking Create a New Virtual Machine, which begins the new virtual machine wizard. If the Installer Disk option is selected, make sure that you instead pick I will install the operating system later and then click Next. In the Select a Guest Operating System screen, Microsoft Windows is chosen by default and Windows Server 2012 is chosen by default. That's what you want, so click Next. For the virtual machine name, type in 410 Server 2. If you need to change the location, you can do so. Click Next. For this disk capacity, the maximum size disk is set at 60 gig. That will work for us. You may want to click Store Virtual Disk as a single file. It will provide better performance. But if you need to be able to move the virtual disks using removable media like a thumb drive, you might want to split the virtual disk into multiple files. We'll store the virtual disk as a single file in this demonstration. Click Next. You're ready to create the virtual machine. Click Finish, and the virtual machine is created. Next, we want to change some of the settings in the 410 Server 2 virtual machine. Click Edit Virtual Machine Settings. The memory is set at 2 gigabytes, which is more than enough for this virtual machine. If you need to, you can set it uh, less than 2 gigabytes. Uh, I wouldn't go any lower than 1 gigabyte, however. We need to add a hard disk. So you're going to click the Add button. Hard disk is the default selection, so click Next. SCSI is the default disk type, so click Next. We want to create a new virtual disk, so click Next. And the maximum disk size is set at 60 gigabytes, which is fine for our purposes. If you want to, you can store the virtual disk as a single file. Click Next. The disk file name is fine, so you can just click Finish. And now you have a second virtual hard disk. The next thing that you want to do is change the network adapter type. 410 Server 1, if you use the instructions from the other video, is set to host only, so we want to set 410 Server 2 to host only. If your instructor tells you otherwise that you need to use bridged or NAT, that's fine. You can use either one of those. These instructions are for using host only networking. Click OK and 410 Server 2 is ready to be installed with Windows Server 2012. You will be installing Windows Server 2012 on 410 Server 2 in the hands-on activities of Chapter 2. You will also be doing the after installation tasks such as setting the computer name, the IP address, and so forth. This concludes this demonstration of setting up 410 Server 2.